I feel welcome to country because I'm not from this area. I'm from the Bidger people of South West Queensland. I can do it in helmets from the country. But I would like you to all not just use those words and think of those words, I'll we acknowledge the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. Remember who you're acknowledging. This is the first impact of 228 years ago today. The first impact of the British, British colonialists that declared war. Yes, it was war. Our history books say skirmishes. That's another lie of history. War was declared on this nation 228 years ago. On this day, 28, 228 years ago, they also imported foreign sicknesses that killed our people. They also imported moral decline that ruined our family structures. They imported a lot of things that were the breakdown of our lives that spread right through this country that was later on to become known as Australia. By the way, that was on the 1st of January 1901. That's when they should be having Australia Day, not on the 26th. Would you go in and run amok through a group of people and then every year celebrate their murder and the massacre of their families on the very same day you did it? No, you wouldn't. And I know I'm talking to the converted here. There's a lot of non-Aboriginal people here. I see a sea of faces and I applaud you for that because you've turned your back on that thing called Australia Day. You've turned your back on those yobbos running around giving drunk and abusing anybody who doesn't look as if they're Anglo-Saxon. You've turned your back on that and you're starting to on a journey to learn the true history of the country you were born in. And that is important that we learn the true history because today is not about celebration. Today is about mourning. We must mourn our dead. Today is also about pride. The people who fought generations after generation after generation fought in every tribal land in this nation. Fought spears against guns. Fought bravely, fought with honor. And right up to more modern times, today is about remembering our heroes. We remember Pemawoy. There's people who know of Pemawoy. People know of Chandamari Yagan. But do people know modern day heroes? The Pattons, the Fergusons, the Gibbs, the, the Tuckers. That, no. You get into history books today, they're not mentioned. We're going to be where they were today. In 1938, they were at Australia Hall. The first, recognised the first national uh, civil rights action by Aboriginal people. The 1938 Day of Mourning. Those pe people bravely fought for some of the rights we have today. Against all odds, they weren't even allowed in the front door. We're going to pay respect to those people. Do you think those clowns down at Circular Quay know these people even existed? Through their beer coloured glasses, they know nothing else but the foam on the next schooner. Do, you want, do we want to live in a country that's noted for that? No. I don't. And all of you who are non-Aboriginal who come here today have shown you don't neither. As an Aboriginal person, that heartens me. Because it was some time ago, everybody was down the road kicking up a celebration. I must also mention that we have our own people having celebrations on that day. Those days, I think, we're turning a corner. Today marks a day where we protest. Today marks a day where we stand in solidarity and mark respect. It's not a day for singing and dancing. I make no apologies for that. It's not a day for that, but I think the days for those type of events are slowly coming to an end.